guys, um, I'm late to the party, but I wanted to contribute on this topic about things I miss. This is a very, very emotional issue for me, and it's something I struggle with every day. Um, I am absolutely haunted and devastated that I wasn't able to finish my studies at university. I got so close, so close to finishing, just couldn't. And I'm haunted. I still have dreams trying to make it work. All the time. I was very driven and very passionate. And growing up the way I did, I was an awkward child. I didn't have friends. I was a nerd girl. And the happiest time in my life was getting to university and not being despised for it and being able to excel in academia and find confidence that I actually was good at something and I lost everything and it it bothers me so much and I pray for peace and I try and accept this is something that rocks me to the core of my soul and likely always will. And the hardest thing is not having the capacity anymore. I have such a passion, you guys. I love the university. I love learning. I loved being able to work toward a career where my goal was to be able to take care of my family. Accomplishing things, achieving things, being proud of myself and feeling worthy of life. I miss being functional. I miss not having to never make plans and registering the disappointment every time somebody asks me to come out and I say I don't feel well. I miss having the ability to contribute to the world in a more productive way. I miss not being resented for being a burden in many ways. I miss my body being reliable so that it could follow my mind. This is life in a corporeal prison. That's what this is. And it sucks. Life has not been kind to me. I've had a lot of bad experiences. And... Getting sick is just the worst. Um... The rest I can feel better with. But losing people's respect and being discarded as worthless, that sucks. I miss making my dad proud. Everything I achieved, I did so in his name. And he was so proud of me. I 
a very successful university and he would always stay up for how he was and that changed I miss organic synthesis research if you have a pacemaker you can't do your own NMRs anymore and it's a type of scan like if you have a chemical sample you want to analyze it's where MRIs come from but obviously on a much smaller scale um, you can't go in the room with a pacemaker I had a full ride scholarship to Geneva for grad school I couldn't go Organic chemistry was my first love, so that that was hard. Um, and disappointing a lot of people in the department because when I got sick, when I was away on a fellowship, um, I came home and I changed my major to health sciences. I wanted to combine my love of chemistry with compassion. Chemistry plus compassion equals pharmacy, right? That was my first change. And I was resented so much by the chemistry department. The people were very disappointed and having to start over fresh in a group, a very small, closely knit group of students having to start from scratch building an af academic rapport is not easy but the sicker I got I figured out pretty early on in the PharmD program that I really would rather be a physician because if I was going to become clinically educated and have a doctorate degree, I'd like to be able to be the one making decisions. Switching to medicine, that was another huge change again, with some but milder interdisciplinary rivalries going on. And, um, yeah, I just really felt called to anesthesia. I really. I had a really awesome mentor that I got to study with, and he was amazing. The whole department was amazing, but especially the few that really you know, took me under their wing. And I connected with one of the female residents a lot. And I miss it so much. this research I miss being respected and respectable I've been misjudged, blamed, disbelieved, the whole spectrum like many of us have. The worst is for my own family. Like, the night before my diagnostic thoracoscopy for heart failure, my dad asked my cardiologist, and I probably brought this up in a ton of other videos, but that gives you some idea, like, how potent a memory it is and that it, it sticks in my mind so much. Asked my cardiologist, is there any way she could have done this to herself? Nothing made me more angry and insulted and disgusted and just
with everything. Friends, family, career, future, everything. And I fought like hell. I fought like hell to stay in school. Years of medical leaves. And ultimately, I had nothing to show for it but endless debt, a sense of deep shame and failure, and as if that wasn't enough, having to move home into an abusive environment where I suffered many years of my childhood and vowed never to return. I had no choice. I knew what I was coming home to. Those dynamics don't go away with time, you guys. If you grew up, and there was abuse in your home, and you get sick and you move back, the old pattern will return. It doesn't just go away because you grew up. And it doesn't just go away if you had your own life and were independent as an adult. It doesn't matter. I miss being able to eat something without being nervous about getting sick or having to balance it to make sure I don't lose it all from malabsorption the other way. I miss not having implants and things sticking out of my chest all the time. The feeling gross and disgusting and disfigured and having those feelings confirmed. I was taking showers in less than two hours and not being completely drained and wiped out for the next day. Being able to jump up and go, not worrying what I'm attached to, and not worrying about my blood pressure or some triggered arrhythmia. I miss not needing to think so damn much about every function of my body. I miss innocence in life. Those glorified invincible years when you're young you feel that nothing can touch you when you feel strong and confident in everything you do and your body obeys and supports you with ease I miss swimming I miss not having a central line to care for and worrying about infection all the time and this view of my own. I miss achieving. I miss being productive, I miss giving back to the world in some way. I miss being whole. Breathing without oxygen, without this fucking leash on 24-7. Getting yanked and caught on things. Horrible. Try it sometime. Put a string around your face and let it dangle, you know, a few feet behind you. You know, see how it is. It's not cool.
being the world's greatest cat toy. It's funny, but it gets old fast. I miss dressing nice and having the energy to do so. And I miss being able to remember the stories friends tell me, the important things that should not be forgotten. Difficult, heart-opening sharing about stuff that, if people say it ever, it's gonna only be said once. And to forget, not honor that sharing and value it and treasure it as it deserves to be because those pathways have either been retarded by meds or obliterated altogether by pathology. I miss not needing a cupboard for meds. I miss not having to explain to everyone. I miss going out. I miss visiting people. I miss being out in nature up in the mountains. It's an endless list, and I think I should just stop now. Boy, did I learn fast. After I got mono, my medical team, like, gang convinced me to take my first medical leave. I called my father and I was devastated because I was so motivated and in love with school. And his response for the first time since I began to be successful in school was, well, I can't take care of you. You're going to have to go stay with someone else. Like, just cold and annoyed. Boy, was that a foreshadowing for what was to come. We're estranged now because of this stuff. Him disbelieving and blaming and stuff. It's gross. It's my dad. It might be easier to mention what I don't miss. It's just about everything. Making a difference. I miss my mind being clear and reliable. Capacity to study and retain knowledge got a lot worse toward the end. When I took that fifth and final medical leave, it was awful. I miss being able to remember the stories friends tell me, the important things that should not be forgotten. Difficult, heart-opening sharing about stuff that, if people say it ever, it's gonna only be said once. And to forget, not honor that sharing and value it and treasure it as it deserves to be because those pathways have either been retarded by meds or obliterated altogether by pathology. It's horrible. I miss not needing a cupboard for meds. I miss not having to explain to everyone. I miss visiting people. I miss being out in nature up in the mountains. It's 
I have no list, but I think I should just stop now. Boy, did I learn fast. After I got mono, my medical team, like, gang convinced me to take my first medical leave. I caught my father and I was devastated because I was so motivated and in love with school. And his response for the first time since I began to be successful in school was, Well, I can't take care of you. You're going to have to go stay with someone else. Like, just cold and annoyed. Boy, was that a foreshadowing for what was to come. We're estranged now because of this stuff. Him disbelieving and blaming and stuff. It's gross. It's my dad. I miss not being confronted with morbidity and mortality on a daily basis. I'm done. Enough of this. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Be well.